Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Fire Emblem games I found for Java. Fire Emblem are turn-based strategy games. That's about it. <laughs> That's the review. Okay, so there are plenty of games like this. I'm not gonna explain you how a turn-based strategy game works. But just know that if you're expecting the games to have the depth of the console versions, you're gonna be disappointed. The games still have enough depth for a Java game, I mean you can move your forces around, attack, use items, but the games still feel like they are simplified versions of their console cousins. But even so, if you are into turn-based strategy games, then you will like these games. All of them. Because gameplay-wise, they are the same. But you know what is different in them? The story. Now for me, most of these stories are bad. But just because I didn't like the stories doesn't mean that you will feel the same as me. How much one likes something is subjective. So yeah, Fire Emblem, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, in that one, you get the sad gameplay, the one that I've already told you about. And the story is about some pirates who travel to the Caribbean and made a pact with the devil so that they become stronger. In Fire Emblem Regeneration, you have to protect Queen Sophia from barbarian Ostrogoth forces and from devils. Literal devils, not inner demons. In Fire Emblem Proscription, you do the same thing. It's the follow-up of Regeneration. The game is set 10 years apart from the events of the first one. In this one you fight again the Ostrogoths and devils. Also Queen Sophia isn't queen anymore. Now queen in the kingdom is Queen Yamuna. In Fire Emblem Liberation, you go with the princess and her men to fight for the freedom of the kingdom. She takes on quests and don't worry, they are linear quests, you don't get free room. But still, the game feels like an adventure. In Fire Emblem Invasion, you help the princess to regain her throne. And in Fire Emblem Opposition, the war continues. Queen Yamuna fights the Visigoths now, so there are new enemies. If she got attacked by the West in the first games, now she gets attacked by the East. Fire Emblem Purification is the last part of the saga. As the game's description says, the desire to be the devil at any cost has forced the heroes to change the rule of the game. And that's about it, so basically you have the two Fire Emblem storylines. The classic one with the kingdom fighting for its freedom against gods and visigoths and devils. And the other one where you play as pirates and team up with the devils. So yeah, gameplay wise, for Java standards, they are very good turn based strategy games. But if you compare them to their console counterparts, they are weak. And the story is up to you if you like it or not. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.